Welcome back. In the next few lectures of this course, we are going to walk through the process of deploying a couple different resources via PowerShell. We are going to deploy a virtual machine and we are going to deploy a network. But before we do this, we have to make sure that we have Azure PowerShell installed on our workstation. Now, installing Azure PowerShell on the workstation requires just one or two steps that are pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the first step, uh, which often isn't even required, uh, is to install the PowerShell GET module. Uh, the PowerShell GET module is what is used to install PowerShell from the PowerShell gallery, which is the preferred method of installation of Azure PowerShell. Once we have PowerShell GET installed, we can then go through the process of installing Azure PowerShell from the PowerShell gallery. So what we want to do first is confirm whether or not we have PowerShell GET installed. And to do that, we run a simple uh, PowerShell command from our PowerShell on our workstation uh, running in elevated mode. So let's do this. Let's go down to our PowerShell. We'll right click it and run it as an administrator. And what I've got here, I've got this PowerShell command pasted into a file here off screen. So let's bring it over. So what you can see here is we have a pretty straightforward PowerShell command. It's a get module, and we're looking for the PowerShell get module. And what we're doing is we're listing out some content, and we're piping it to a select object command, which will give us the name, version, and path. So we're basically asking our environment, do we have PowerShell get installed? So let's hit enter and see. And what you can see here is we already have PowerShell get installed and ready to go. You will probably have this uh, configured and installed as well. So now that we have our PowerShell get installed and we know it's there, now we can actually go in and install Azure PowerShell. Now to do that, like I said, we want to do this uh, from the PowerShell gallery. So what we'll do, we'll run the install module command to install Azure RM. So it's real simple, install module, typical syntax of PowerShell, and the module name is Azure RM. So when we hit enter, it's going to attempt to go out to PowerShell gallery and install our Azure PowerShell. So as you can see, that was pretty uneventful. Now, however, now that we have the Azure RM module installed, we actually have to load it into our PowerShell session. So to do that, we run what's called an import module command. It's very similar to install module, except it's import module. So we type import module, and again, we call the Azure RM module. And when we hit enter, what's gonna happen is it's going to pull in all these resources that Azure RM brings, and we're ready to go. Again, it's fairly uneventful. So now that we have our Azure PowerShell installed and loaded, let's attempt to log into our account to ensure we can actually connect through our uh, Azure PowerShell. So to log into our account, we simply type login dash Azure RM account, and we hit enter. It's going to prompt me for my uh, credentials, which is a good sign. So we'll go ahead and T Mitchell Jr. And when I enter my email address and click tab to go down to the password, it's actually going to redirect me where I'll actually enter in my password. And I'm gonna tell it to keep me signed in here, just for simplicity's sake. So once we authenticate, we're going to be taken to the uh, PowerShell window where we started, and it's going to tell me here's my environment, the Azure Cloud, here's my account information, and you can see here I'm actually connected to my Azure environment. So at this point, We've walked through the process of preparing for the Azure PowerShell in installation. We've gone ahead and installed the Azure PowerShell, and we've connected 
to Azure through PowerShell. At this point, we can now start managing our Azure environment through this PowerShell window. So let's wrap it up for here, and I'll see you over in the next lecture. As always, thanks for watching.